What if you could ditch the unnecessary keyframes and replace them with one tiny piece of code? I know, you probably hate coding, otherwise you'd be doing software development and not motion design. But let me show you how easy it actually is. Here's a random number animation made with keyframes only. And here's the same animation made with one short expression. After Effects expressions can automate your workflow, giving you more time to focus on creativity. Stay with us as we dive into the five most useful After Effects expressions. Ever needed some randomness to spice up your background animation? The random expression is your new best friend. What does it do? It generates a random value for every frame. If you want more control, you can use random, minimum value, maximum value. This lets you set a range for your random values. Since random gives us a random value between 0 and 1, I just added math round, so the value is a whole number. Now we can set minimum value and maximum value. I'm just gonna add 0 and 30, so a random value will be selected between 0 and 30. But what if I want a static random value? Enter seed random. Seed number is if we want several layers to have the same value. We can write index if we want each layer to have different values. Timeless false means it's going to change every frame and timeless true means it's going to have a static value. So let's choose true. We've already defined the minimum value and maximum value. I'm gonna just type 20 and 100. And since this is a scale property, we need two values for width and height. Now we can duplicate our circle or ball and each layer will have different values for scale. Awesome, right? Why do we want to measure layer speed and velocity? I mean, we're not going to organize Grand Prix for the fastest layer. Well, we can use velocity and speed expressions to exaggerate movements and effects. The simplest use case is sliding text with slant connected to its speed. We can use it for even more complex animations like this 3D pointer. I'm using this expression to animate rotation of a pointer when it's moving or clicking. Or we can connect a whole bunch of layers and create something like this. Instead of animating each part separately, we're utilizing speed expression which allows us to have just two keyframes. The greatest companion of anyone who's been animating infographics or statistics. We can all agree that the dynamic numbers like money, percentages or decimals are way more interesting than static ones. All we need is a slider control and this expression over here. Next step is just to animate our slider, let's say from 0 to 10 thousand and we will get animated number from 0 to 10,000. What does two fixed means? Well with this number over here we can change how many decimal spots our number will have. So if we write two our number will have two decimal spot and we can write let's say 10.78 and we're gonna get a decimal number. And what if we want to add a percentage after the number we're just gonna write over here plus percentage and that's it. Or we can just add a dollar sign before the effect value. So we're gonna get something like this. We can even go one step further. We can add advanced version of this expression. What does it mean? Well, if we write numbers over 1000, this expression will add a comma to our number. Linear and ease expressions are perfect if we want to create some sliders or controllers in our video. So what does interpolation do? It allows us to remap one range of values to another range of values. With the linear, we're going to get the linear values. And with ease, we're going to get values with a bit of easing in the beginning and in the end of our movement. Let me show you how this works on a real example. Let's say we want this line to follow this triangle, but it's going way too fast, right? So we're gonna add this cheeky expression over here, linear r 0 to 360 and 0 to 100. Why 360? Well, because rotation goes from 0 to 360. This works perfectly, but we have one tiny problem. Our rotation goes above 360 degrees. So let's add one more expression here. It's called clamp value 0, 360. Now our rotation won't be able to happen above 360 and below zero degrees. But let's not stop there. With this expression, we can restrain other objects into a rectangle, for example. 
we can go even one step further here and add wiggle 2 and 750 and now this circle will move only inside our rectangle i mean some pretty crazy things can be made with this interpolation expression Bet you didn't know about this. Let's say we want to orient one or several layers towards our main layer. Now, if we just search for look at expression, this will come up. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Why? Because this expression only works with 3D layers, meaning that we're gonna have to switch whole scene to a 3D and add this expression to an orientation of our layer. And then this happens once again, so we have to tweak the proper axis and it's just too tedious. In order to make this work, we'll have to type something like this. This will do perfectly. We just have to add this expression on a rotation of our layer, change target layer's name, and that's it. If you find these expressions helpful, don't forget to check out top 5 After Effects expressions for beginners, and feel free to subscribe for more tips on video automation and After Effects mastery.